Today marks one year since the horrific events of October 7th, when Hamas launched a large-scale terror attack in Israel, killing over 1,250 Israelis and foreign nationals, including children and women. More than 250 people were abducted and taken to Gaza, including many women and children. The October 7th attack scarred souls, and on this day, we remember all those who were brutally killed and suffered unspeakable violence, including sexual violence, as they were simply living their lives. This is a day for the global community to repeat in the loudest voice our utter condemnation of the abhorrent acts of Hamas, including the taking of hostages. Over the course of the past year, I have met with the families of hostages, learned more about the lives, hopes, and dreams of their loved ones, and shared in their anguish and pain. I cannot imagine the torture they are forced to endure every day. And I demand once again the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. Until then, Hamas must allow the International Committee of the Red Cross to visit those hostages. The 7th of October is naturally a day to focus on the events of that awful day. I express my solidarity with all the victims and their loved ones. Since October 7th, a wave of shocking violence and bloodshed has erupted. The war that has followed the terrible attacks of one year ago continues to shatter lives and inflict profound human suffering for Palestinians in Gaza and now the people of Lebanon. I have spoken out about this often and clearly. It's time for the release of the hostages, time to silence the guns, time to stop the suffering that has engulfed the region. Time for peace, international law, and justice. The United Nations is fully committed to achieving these goals. In the midst of so much bloodshed and division, we must hold on to hope. Let us honor the memory of the victims, reunite families, and end the suffering and violence in the whole Middle East. And let us never stop working for a lasting solution to the conflict, where Israel, Palestine, and all other countries of the region can finally live in peace and dignity and with respect for one another.